Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. We are back at River Ridge Retreat in Gunnersville, Alabama. I'm going to be here for four days. Uh, going to show you what they've updated. Uh, they've got some new stuff going on since last year when I was here. And, of course, we are happy campers. We've got the truck. We've got the uh, camper set up. Nice pull-through site. It's got a fire pit. You've got your charcoal grill. You got your picnic table. We were able to pull. I've got the e-bike out. Uh, we were able to pull right up next to the con or the Blackstone uh, pad. So we've got our Blackstone set out, our table, and nice green grass. We've got plenty of room, and as I said, it is pull through. This is also a full hookup. 50-30 water and sewer and so we are set up everything is looking great this is a fairly new campground uh, it's been open for three and a half years I believe and this is my third year to stay it is very nice it is gravel the pads are level uh, or 99% level uh, they do a great job here they keep the grass cut I intend to get out and show you around a little bit more uh, over the next couple of days so we'll take the e-bike for a ride and they have some new additions there's even a new dog park right here behind us and they've added a dog park to the other section as well so we'll show you that a little bit later Ralph Mann, Mann's Outdoors. We are at River Ridge Retreat in Gunnersville, Alabama. Beautiful sign. Now let's go take a tour. This is the camp store. You can check in, register. They've got a giant map out here. They've got firewood, bicycles that you can rent. They do have ice, which is wonderful, 20 pound bags. They also uh, rent uh, go-karts. So. Maybe we can go in and take a look. All right, I said we were gonna come into the office. We've got charcoal, we've got your basic necessities. They got some nice t-shirts. I really like the, the logo on that one. And of course they have, you know, mosquito and tick repellents and uh, sewer tanks if you need those. We've got uh, Jiffy Pop. And uh, I think I already showed you or may have that I put one of these stickers on the back of my camper to go along with the others. They also have magnets. So come in and give them a try. After you come through the gates, uh, the first sign you'll see is RV sites straight ahead or cabins to the left. There is a dumpster right over here. So let's go down and take a quick look at the cabins. That way to the cabins, and there's a hiking trail as well, so let's go down. There are a total of 12 cabins, uh, 10, 11, and 12 are up the hill. The rest of them are down this direction. We're just going to go circle by those. We're back out from the cabins, and now there's a sign for the RV site straight ahead. This is Fawn Ridge up here on the hill. We're going to go ahead and go down that direction the road curves we're going to go down and check out the pavilion and then we'll go to the waterfront and we'll come back to fawn ridge this is the brand new pavilion here at river ridge uh, this was not here last year and 
they've got the laundry room down at the other end we'll go take a look at that this is actually being set up uh, for a rally this weekend uh, and but it comes with the tables and chairs uh, the stage uh, they the rally folks brought in but the tables and chairs are available for everybody there's more tables over there this thing is beautiful uh, giant ceiling fans across the top open air there are showers there are two restrooms that are available when you rent the pavilion for people to use and then there are three private shower rooms uh, that you can rent if you're staying down here and don't want to use your own uh, RV for taking showers and so forth you can rent those they are eight dollars a day uh, but this is an RV resort and only RVs are here so you're kind of expected to have your own bathroom but if you can rent these if you would like they're key coded and we'll go take a look at those here in just a minute we've got brand new private shower rooms they work on a code uh, they are eight dollars a day and you punch in the code, open up the door, but you've got very nice sinks, uh, nice big pretty mirror. You've got a uh, commode and a nice glass shower. It does have a shower timer on it, but man, this is, this is slick. So if for some reason you're unable to or don't want to use your own RV shower or bathroom, you can get these and this was brand new these opened up on may 25th of 2024 you've got two showers like we just looked at and then this one is a third shower and this is ada handicap accessible it's much larger has a seating area you've got your commode uh, with access from a wheelchair you've got your handrails you've got sinks and dryers this is in all of them but they're just simply motion activated very nice and then the shower is ADA compliant with a folding seat that uh, you can get your wheelchair in there get on the seat and slide the wheelchair out they have done a lot of work around here this is really nice these are bathrooms when you rent the pavilion and oh nice and cool in here too so they're not like it is outside today brand new laundry room we got new machines washers dryers we've got folding tables over here on the side and this is a tarp attached to a giant new pavilion the pavilion is not far from the waterfront sites which are right down here about halfway down the road we're going to go down that direction and take a quick look uh, I stayed there the last two years and the pavilion was not here but let's go see if anything's changed down that way there are 31 lakeside sites uh, they all have a view of the water and as I said I've stayed here the last two years unfortunately uh, it was all booked up for the last couple of days of my stay uh, for this rally that's coming in so I'm saying staying at Fawn Ridge and we'll go take a look at that in just a minute but I'm going to go circle around and just see if there's anything new. This is part of uh, Gunnersville Lake, which is also part of the uh, Tennessee River. And uh, I've been out here and seen geese all up and down through here. We do have a new playground, so we're going to go take a look at that. All of these sites are pull-throughs. They have a concrete pad. Uh, picnic table, fire ring, cooking pit, uh, 3050 water and sewer. So it's all full hookup. And let's go check out the uh, playground. This was laying on the ground and uh, a stack of wood when I was here a year ago. Uh, but you got a uh, rope climbing wall. You've got swings for different ages. Uh, looks like a little playhouse inside here and uh, a platform to, to go up the ladder and then we've got a slide over here on this side the dog park was here last year but it's right there and we'll go take a look at it next 
River Ridge Dog Park. As I said, it was just open last year. That was uh, April of 23. And uh, it's actually marked occupied, but there's no dogs here, so we'll flip that around for them. Uh, it's got a fire hydrant in the middle. You've got your poop bags and a dump station. Some benches for the uh, humans to, to sit on while the dogs play. This was, as I said, last year, and it was in the video, and I'll link that down below. But they have a brand new one at Fawn Ridge, and we'll go up and take a look at that. Pulling out of Lakeside, which is completely sold out for this upcoming weekend, uh, the road continues straight on down here. Uh, that gives you water access. There's a giant pier down there. If you're interested in seeing more of it, uh, I'll link that video down below from last year. I uh, actually walked out on the pier, talked about it a little bit, so you can check that out. But let's head on up to Fawn Ridge. Well, we've come back from the pavilion and the waterfront. We're back at Fawn Ridge. We are going to go up into here. Uh, there are a number of sites. We'll take a look here in just a second and see how many because I forgot. There were 31 at the other one, 12 cabins, and let's see how many sites are on Fawn Ridge. Well, that answers our question. Uh, a, there are nine. B, there are nine. And C, there are five. So that would be 23 sites here along with the 31 and the 12 cabins. Uh, there, the majority are pull-through sites, but there also are pull-in sites for motor homes right up this way. And we're just going to go up and around and back to uh, our camper now.